First Man not only takes you into historic space, it also puts you squarely on Mother Earth, right where the Armstrong family dealt daily with non-lunar life. That's why I really love this movie, because this movie shows what it was like. We were just an ordinary family. We did ordinary family things. We had ordinary family problems. It's just that, that Dad was working on an extraordinary program. As a typical six-year-old, the danger, complexity, and historical context was lost on Mark Armstrong until later in life. 49 years after Neil Armstrong's One Giant Leap for Mankind, his family hopes younger generations will come to understand how incredibly difficult it was to land someone on the moon. We have every intention of coming back. But you might not. It wasn't preordained. Right, this was not something that was, had a guarantee of success. Uh, this is something that, that was hard fought and hard won. 400,000 people worked on the project, which was one reason why Armstrong avoided the limelight. As a team effort, he believed all deserved equal credit. In talking with one of his two surviving sons, both of whom consulted for the movie, I asked about his mother, Janet, and what the wives of astronauts went through. Right, because they had all of the concern and none of the control. Uh, so they, while the husbands are away working on this program, they got to figure out how to feed the kids, raise the kids, pay the bills, take care of anything that comes up. And, and it was just as heroic, I think, in its own way as, as what the guys did. You're going to sit them down, both of them, and you're going to prepare them for the fact that you might not ever come home. Armstrong is grateful for the detail-oriented, historically accurate effort director Damien Chazelle, screenwriter Josh Singer, and the cast put into First Man. The intense flight scenes interspersed with the more mundane goings-on at home, dispelling the view of his father as reclusive and standoffish, showing him in a truer light. You know, he had a sense of humor, a dry wit. He, he could be playful, he could be intense, but he could, also, uh, he could also horse around. And really, the more time we spent with him, I think the better we felt about their willingness to tell a true story. In the opening sequence, you are thrust into an X-15 flight, watching the story of a guy who wanted to design aircraft, decided he'd better learn how to fly them, and flew 78 combat missions off the USS Essex in the Korean War. He had to bail out once, rescued by an American Jeep. And in that Jeep, John was a guy that he had roomed with when he was in flight school. Just crazy <laughs> things like that. The small world. <laughs> the small world. <laughs> and before he died, Neil Armstrong spent 60 hours being interviewed by James Hansen, who wrote the book. The film, First Man, is based on that book. At the Kenwood Theater, John London, WWT News 5.